Well, we've, we've talked already about how we think about relapses, how we assess them in principle, and, and the goals of treatment, but why don't we turn to um, the new white paper that you're presenting at the CMSC meeting in, in 2019, which is a new algorithm to try to standardize how it's recommended to do this, sort of drawing from some of these best practices in a way that is implementable for, for anyone who takes care of people with MS. So, Tell us a little bit about this white paper, this um, optimizing MS relapse management sort of structured approach that you're presenting at the CMSC meeting. So, um, as you know, I mean, there were several of us who are here who participated in this uh, labor of love, shall we say. Um, and actually, if, if I think about it, um, Steve, it goes back a number of years ago where uh, several of my colleagues and friends from North America, Canada and US, um, were sitting around talking about relapses and people who tell us they have three relapses a day and some of those kinds of things and what our <clears throat> challenges and frustrations were. And so one of the things that we did was to convene a group of, of peers, a small group, and develop something called the ARMS tool, which was assessment of relapses and in MS tool. We actually had uh, many back and forth, as you can imagine, trying to figure out what we could get to fit on one page that was pertinent to a relapse assessment, because we felt clinicians didn't want any more than one page. We finally came to a consensus. Uh, we piloted it. We um, tested it for reliability and validity. We were able to assess those measures. And it's been put into practice. And it's available to, to anyone that wants to use it. Uh, and it looks at assessing relapses and going through much of the discussion we've already had this morning. Fast forward to the last year or so, a group of physician colleagues and advanced practice colleagues were convened to put together potentially a tool, as you said, um, or an algorithm that could help guide us. And guide us, well, people like us who live and breathe MS every single day have our own nuances and our own ways of doing things with patients, but we were hoping that this algorithm is something that can be useful beyond just the big MS centers. Because as we know, 66% of people with MS do not get their regular care in an MS center. They're out somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the algorithm has basically three steps. It starts off with evaluating the symptoms, just as we have talked about, uh, potential use of an MRI if and when it's needed, then we move into step two, which is looking at managing the relapse. And I think we're gonna talk a little bit about that, about approaches to managing who uses what, how we make decisions, and where that fits in the grand scheme of things. And then finally, um, step three is assessing the outcomes. We can go right back to that ARMS tool because the second half of the ARMS tool is a one month evaluation assessing the outcome of whatever was done to manage that relapse. And in some cases, what was done to manage that relapse was watch and wait. Mm -hmm. So we go back and we take a look at that. And that's all st uh, set forth in an algorithm. And again, I'll be presenting that later this afternoon. You know, and, and the idea there that it's not enough to just evaluate the symptoms and not treat, it's not enough to treat and not reevaluate again, but it's really this three-step process of have a goal, as, as um, Sam, you talked about, the rationale for treatment, trying to shut down the inflammation that's there, um, use a strategy to treat the relapse, and we're gonna talk about those momentarily, and then reassess and see whether that person has actually gotten back to their baseline as best as we can assess to see whether there's uh, still disability or, or changes that are evolving that may need further, further treatment, or if we've held off on treatment, may then need treatment. Um, so it really, all, all three parts of that structured approach I think are pretty essential. And the, the arms tool, excuse me, Sam, is, is useful in a couple of ways. If you think about Rob and talking about the virtual visits, mm -hmm. we can give these this one-page tool to our patients while they're sitting in a waiting room. We could do it over a phone to help us decide if it's worth it for them to drive the 200 miles to come in and see us for this evaluation or maybe not. 
I mean, there's lots of ways to use that assessment tool, but the second half, that reassessment tool, is really meant, I mean, we could bring the patients in if we have that luxury, but it's really meant to be done over the phone. Mm -hmm. So we have an idea of yeah. what our next step needs to be so we just don't drop the ball after one course of steroids. That's right.